Our title this morning is The Parable of the One Lost Drachma. And with this, we will begin our word today. In today's scripture reading, it tells of a woman who has lost one of ten drachmas. Last dawn prayer, we learned why the shepherd was so desperate to find his one sheep out of 100 that he already had. So today, let us learn why this woman was so desperate to find her one lost drachma. Number one. By losing one drachma, you lose the value of the other nine drachmas. So the one drachma and the nine drachmas are connected. The ten drachmas in today's scripture reading concerns the concept of the Jewish marriage custom. When a groom gets engaged to his bride, he is supposed to give her family 10 drachmas as a gift. The bride then turns the 10 drachmas into a necklace and wears them until she gets married. However, in this parable, the woman loses one of the ten drachmas that the bridegroom gives her as his token of love for her, thereby the remaining nine drachmas become meaningless. So it seems like the token of his love for her is also broken. So the, di- so the distressed bride searches every corner of her home to find that one lost drachma. Today, God also searches for us who are like that one lost Drachma. The nine drachmas that are left signify an incompleteness of love, an incompleteness of salvation. So we may seem that we are pointless, we may be meaningless, but that is not true. Because without us, the nine drachma, the others cannot be complete. That is why in Hebrews 11, verses 39 through 40, the conclusion of God's salvation plan is revealed here. What is the conclusion? And all these, having gained approval through their faith, did not receive what was promised, because God had provided something better for us so that apart from us, they should not be made perfect. So without us, salvation cannot be perfect. No matter how great our forefathers of faith are, they only signify nine drachmas. If we do not find the one lost drachma, which is us who are called in these end times, then God's work of redemption will not be complete. So we are that precious of beings. So we must know how precious we are. We are that one lost drachma. Remembering God's infinite agape love for us, may we become the lost drachma that are found. 
And may we complete the love and salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Bridegroom. I bless this upon you in the name of the Lord. Also, why was this woman so desperate to find her drachma? Number two, because one drachma in itself is precious. At that time, the image of rulers were imprinted in the drachma. So the faces of the rulers at that time were engraved in the drachma. Therefore, apart from the value of money, the glorious images of kings were engraved in the drachma. The same is true for us today. Regardless of status, race, gender, or age, each of us are precious images of God, made in the image of God. Genesis 1.27 God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. In other words, each man, each woman is made in the image of the Almighty God. So each of us is a drachma that has the image of the King of Kings, God. So that is why we are so precious. We have the image of God. Therefore, God never wants to lose even the lowliest of people. Amos 9.9 says, For behold, I am commanding, and I will shake the house of Israel among all nations as grain is shaken in a sieve, but not a kernel will fall to the ground. God doesn't want to lose even one person. Why? Because that one person, even, even the lowliest of the people, they are that precious to God. And Matthew 18, 14, Jesus says this, So it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones perish. And in John 6, 39, Jesus says this, This is the will of him who sent me, that of all that he has given me, I lose nothing but raise it up on the last day. And number three, why was the woman so desperate to find her one lost drachma? The result of finding a lost drachma turns into a celebrated union of joy. Again, the result of finding a lost drachma turns into a celebrated union of joy. Verse 9 of our scripture reading says, And having found it, she calls together the friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the drachma which I had lost. So in the end, when she finds it, there is a rejoicing of togetherness. The words rejoice with in Greek is shin kairo. Shin kairo. It means rejoice together and a happy union. Also in Luke 15, 6, this verse from last dawn prayer, it says, And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, Shinkairo, for I have found my sheep which was lost. In the parable of the one lost sheep, the same word is used, Shinkairo.
the Greek word shinkairo refers not only to a good state of being, but also a state of excitement in which joy reaches such an intensity that you want to dance. It is the greatest joy. So through this word, what is the attitude of faith that we should have? It is this, when a lost soul returns, we should be able to rejoice with them as if we were saved. First Corinthians 12, 26. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. If one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. So this verse also refers to the term rejoice with as the Greek word shinkairo. So those who suffer at church, we must suffer with them. And the member who is honored, we must rejoice with them like this shinkairo. So the one lost soul that returns, not only they will return, but also their families. May, t- may we all be united in Christ and receive this rejoicing together in the image of St. Cairo. May this type of restoration happen in our lives. I bless this upon you in the name of the Lord. This is the conclusion of the message today. A lost drachma must be found no matter what. Our scripture reading in verse 8, it says, Or what woman having ten drachmas, if she lose one drachma, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek carefully till she find it? And if we look at it in simple terms, in verse 8 of the NIV version, it says, If a woman has ten drachmas and she loses one of them, will she not light a lamp, sweep the whole house, and search until she finds it? There are many one drachmas on this earth that our Father God is searching for. Our Father God, He lights the lamp, sweeps the whole house and searches until He finds that one lost drachma, which is us. So we too must have this type of heart searching for God's lost children and return them to Him. Before the end of this year, Let us pray that all the lost drachmas will be found and that all the brides of the Lamb will be able to complete the necklace of the ten drachmas and be brought back to the bridegroom, our Lord. May we do this as God's children. I bless this upon you in the name of the Lord.